who is his enemy, he'll say the Belgian. Ask the man in Kenya who is his enemy, he'll say the British. Ask the man in Morocco who is his enemy, he'll say the French. But the one thing that the uh, uh, French and the British and the Belgians all have in common, they're all from Europe. How could so few white people rule so many black people? This is the thing you should want to know. How could so few? The white man today will tell you that thousands of years ago, the black man in Africa was living in palaces. The black man in Africa was wearing silk. The black man in Africa was cooking and seasoning his food. The black man in Africa had mastered the arts and the sciences. He knew the, the course of the stars in the universe before the man up in Europe knew that the earth wasn't flat. Is that right or wrong? Then if the black man in Africa had reached such a high state of civilization so long ago, at a time when the people of Europe were crawling on their own foot. What happened to make these people or enable these people to come out of the cave and come down into our civilization and take it over and hitch us to the plow? What happened? How did they do it? These are the things you should want to find out before you say, hooray, hooray, hooray. Is that right or wrong? We not, we have not yet achieve freedom from our slave master. If Africa is free, what you and I should do is study the method by which she attained freedom, reached freedom, got her freedom. What method did she This man do? preaches in terms what of race and against you? integration. What the white man is the, the enemy. This is Malcolm X, leader in Harlem of a cult that calls themselves Muslims or Muslims. They are a leading force behind the campaigns to buy black, part of the doctrine of their national leader, a man called Elijah Muhammad. Outsiders call it black supremacy. Malcolm X calls it black heritage or Negro nationalism. It appeals for Negro unity, and it looks to Africa for inspiration. He says African. The Egyptians are African. The, the honorable, my brother who stood here from Egypt is an African. Two Africans are back there in the corner. You've got all kinds of shades of Africans, just like you have all shades of us here. Everywhere this white man has gone, he has left his mom. So we're going to... President Nasser in Egypt or the, of the United Arab Republic is just as much an African as an African in the Belgian Congo. And if you don't think so, one of the men in the East that the white imperialist, as you call, or the white European, as you call, or the white American, as you call, the devil, who we call, The greatest, one of his worst enemies and most feared opponents in the East today is President Jamal Nasser. The man in America whom the slave master fears but respects more so than any black man in the West is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad.